Hello, my name is Michael West, and I'm the CEO of Ajax Therapeutics. Today we'll be discussing a new patent issuance called Methods of Reprogramming Animal Somatic Cells. And in doing so, we'll be making certain forward-looking statements that have associated risks and uncertainties, and so we refer our viewers to our filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission for more detailed information about the company. The patent that issued today called Methods of Reprogramming Animal Somatic Cells reflects a line of research that goes back some 30 years into the fundamental mechanisms of human aging and the search for means to intervene in that process for human therapeutic benefit. In the mid-1990s, I formed a collaboration with three academic scientists, James Thompson, John Gearhart, and Roger Peterson. The goal of the collaboration was to isolate, for the first time, cells at the very root of human life. They're called pluripotent stem cells because, like the seeds that can give rise to a tree, these cells could theoretically branch out to make all the critically important cell types of the human body. Think, for instance, of the potential of making young heart muscle cells on an industrial scale to treat and repair the damages of heart attack, or young brain cells to treat stroke or Parkinson's disease, or even genetically modified cells to track down and eliminate malignant tumor cells as they spread throughout the body. This field really took off at the turn of the millennium and came to be called regenerative medicine. In 1997, another game-changing event occurred. It was the cloning of Dolly, the sheep. In these experiments, a cell from the body, what we call a somatic cell, was transferred into an egg cell from which the genetic information had previously been removed. The result was as close to a miracle as you can see in the world of science. Something in the egg cell acts like a time machine reprogramming the DNA of the donated cell to transport that DNA back in time so that a skin cell, say from the ear of a cow, now can form an entire animal that can moo. In 2000, I and my colleagues at Advanced Cell Technology published in Science that this technique called somatic cell nuclear transfer could even reset the clock of cell aging, the telomere clock. This was the first real evidence that the aging of cells was reprogrammable. The question then was, what in the egg cell actually pulled off this miraculous feat? At around this time, I and my colleagues began filing patents at ACT on what we called ART, or analytical reprogramming technology. Today, we, along with Lineage Cell Therapeutics, are announcing the issuance of a U.S. patent in this field. It was filed early in the history of reprogramming, even before the publication of iPS cells by Dr. Shinya Yamanaka, from which he won the Nobel Prize. While we name different molecules in our patent, the list of factors that we name are fully capable of making iPS cells. Indeed, the list contains what we believe are important factors in making these cells fully normal. In 2010, while at Lineage, we showed that iPS cell technology, or what we called ART, was capable of reversing the telomere clock of cell aging. So it is now possible to take some cells from the body, say skin cells or blood cells, and reprogram them, that is to say, age reverse them, and make immortal pluripotent cells from which young cells of any kind, genetically identical to the patient, can be made. As exciting as these techniques may appear, we believe that there are even more important applications of the technology, and today's patent is just one piece in a larger intellectual property estate owned or licensed by Ajax Therapeutics. In what began as a highly confidential project, first at Lineage and now at Ajax, 
we began working on methods to reprogram the aging, not just of cells in the laboratory dish, but to actually reverse the aging of cells in vivo, that is to say, in the human body. The goal is to reverse aging not back to a pluripotent stem cell, but just back to the point in development when tissues have a profound capacity for self-repair. In the early days after you're born, damage to a heart, for instance, can lead to regeneration and repair. But if you're 60 or older, after a heart attack, the heart cannot repair itself and scars over instead. The same is true, for instance, in the brain after a stroke. We call our technology induced tissue regeneration, or ITR, and we're pursuing both small molecule and genetic technologies to accomplish this end. Our small molecule formulation is designated ITR1547, and it shows evidence of being able to turn cells back to this regenerative state in the laboratory dish. Our molecular approach uses the same factors listed in today's issued patent as well as other factors in taking cells back to a regenerative state. In a second molecular approach to ITR, we package messenger RNA in tiny envelopes known as exosomes. We anticipate these can be used to transport or mail this message throughout the body to take cells back in time and back to a regenerative state. Our genetic approach uses a subset of the factors named in today's patent. In today's aging baby boom population, some 80% of healthcare costs are associated with chronic disease. Aging is characterized by the presence of chronic degenerative diseases that cause debility and cause a major strain on our healthcare system. ITR and its applications for reversing cell aging are targeting the central molecular mechanisms behind aging and have great promise in potentially transporting cells and tissues back to regenerative state to offer a more natural and effective technique for addressing the major causes of healthcare costs in an aging population in the United States and throughout the world. We look forward to giving you future updates as we advance these technologies towards the clinic. Thank you.